Hi everyone, so this video review is for Green for Love by E.V. Bancroft. If you want to check out my review, I have just posted that, so if you're on YouTube, there's a link in the description below, and if you're on my blog, then there's a link within the post. And this is the video review, so Green for Love by E.V. Bancroft. Um, this was pretty intense. Uh, Jay is an executive at a leading oil company, and Cordelia is a bit of an eco-warrior from very privileged beginnings, and they meet at a members-only club, have this instant attraction, and then from that point their paths continue to cross but their interests conflict and uh, they sort of get in the way of their feelings that they think they can have for one another but um, they have to work together at some point and to do um, it's to do what they both know is best for the planet they have to find a way to overcome their emotionally charged feelings about one another's ideals and when they do they realize that there is compatibility between them there and that working together is the best way forward to get what they both want so i adored every second of this mostly because the conflict that fueled yeah i know pardon the pun uh, whatever was going to happen between uh, jay and cordelia was just brilliant um each and every chapter it was building every time uh, either because cordelia learned about this company that jay worked for um the one where Jay was trying to reassure her that they were doing what was best for the planet um, and what she was learning wasn't true uh, but Cordelia not really believing that or because Cordelia was doing something actively doing things to get herself noticed like protests and 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 getting in the way of other events that painted her in a light that people around Jay wouldn't understand wouldn't understand why she's so angry and does these things it doesn't help um they were both very strong, very passionate characters. They were loyal to their cause, um, and they were both trying to achieve the same things, but in very, very different ways. So Cordelia's just really free-spirited, which was really infectious, and you just knew that Jay wouldn't be able to resist other than her loyalty for work standing in the way. And that image she needed um, for her job was forcing her to hold back anything that she wanted to sort of embrace with Cordelia because she worried about not being able to make the impact from the inside if they found out you know their involvement with one another and, and, and that had consequences for her, her job so I really felt for Jay because she she wasn't just there in a power hungry corporation as an employee who didn't care she was effectively trying to encourage change and support sustainability in her industry from the inside naively thinking she was winning while being somewhat deceived by higher ups in a company we've all been there we've all done that so that's what really broke my heart for her because she was she was trying so hard and she was convinced that things were okay and i loved how just a bit of time together really getting to the heart of both what they then both wanted and supported they found those things in one another and understood that if they just worked together they could get that um, it took them a bit of time, but they figured it out eventually. Um, the story was stunning and so lovely. It had a great cast of characters to support the events and the major plot points, but it also provided uh, those characters, they provided some light relief during some really intense moments that both the characters were enduring. Um, so like their families and, and things like that just added a little bit of something different. Um, and it really lent well to demonstrating how you can still be loyal and determined you can and you can affect change without being overly disruptive angry breaking the law or any of these things that that you don't need to do to get noticed and to make change to make change you have to get in there and you have to change people's mindsets um doing disruptive things that upset people or get you in trouble and with the law aren't going to make that much of a difference long term and um you can still keep your fighting spirit even if you're doing things from within and effectively paving the way for change by actions that actually make changes not just try and force the hand of other people to do it um i loved it i hope these two will be in future stories because they're really exciting together and i'm pretty sure now that they have started working together there is a lot they can do and they're going to have an exciting future as well so i really really enjoyed the story and hope you will too 
Um, I'll pop a link in the description so you can go and grab a copy of Green for Love by E.V. Bancroft, which I really, really hope you will. If you've read Green for Love, would love to know what you thought of it, so please do share your thoughts and comments. Uh, if you haven't read it yet, but you're planning to read it, it's only to be read realistically now, super intrigued and thinking, yes, I'd love to read that. Then again, please do let us know, because it's always great to find out what you're interested in reading. And if you do read it, I hope you enjoy it. Bye.